everyone, thank you for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about Jurassic World, uh, which excitingly is only about 12 days away from today. Uh, I looked at my calendar and I was shocked it actually just came so quickly. But that's right, Chris Pratt and the dinosaurs are going to be appearing on screen in less than two weeks. Um, and I'm sure, like many, uh, I am very, very excited. Now, this movie is projected to earn over $100 million, uh, which has been pretty good because the box office the last couple weeks hasn't been that high. Uh, if you want to actually hear the box office part for this week, you can go to cha our YouTube channel and watch that video. Each week, every Sunday, we do a box office report. But anyway, uh, today we're not actually going to be talking about movie numbers. We're not going to be talking about anything like that. We're actually going to be talking about directors. Jurassic Park director Colin Trevorrow uh, made a statement during the press tour of this movie, Jurassic World, to make this statement. Uh, I'll actually read it to you. Jurassic Park is like Star Wars. Different directors can give different taste to each movie. I'd be involved in some way, but not as director. Which is basically kind of confirming the fact that Colin Trevorrow does not have any interest directing the upcoming Jurassic 5 film. Now you're probably saying Jurassic 5, Jurassic World hasn't even come out yet. But guys, when a movie is this pretty much a shoe in for movie studios, I mean, I would be in utter shock if this movie didn't get hit global numbers. I mean, huge numbers. Uh, which means we're pretty much going to get a guarantee that we're going to get another installment to the Jurassic Park series from Universal. But I do respect the fact that Colin Trevorrow is actually kind of taking the time to say, you know what, I got to get taking a step back and giving another director a chance. Uh, comparing it to Star Wars is real interesting because it is true. It seems like Star Wars is really putting faith in younger directors and directors who doesn't have a, don't have huge bodies of work, but seem very promising and giving them the opportunity to shine and giving them a grand stage. So if Jurassic Park's in a fall suit, I truly respect that. But the question is now, who could direct Jurassic Park 5? Or maybe it's not four new directors. Maybe Steven Spielberg watching this says, you know what, I would love to tell the story one more time and wants to return to the director's chair. I don't know. It's a very, very interesting thought process, regardless of what you think about it. Let me know, who do you feel can direct Jurassic Park 5 down here in the comment section below, and how excited you are to see Jurassic World. Like and favorite this video to show your support. Um, also, remember to follow me and Chasing Cinema's YouTube channels on uh, social media websites down here in the description box. That's Facebook, that's Twitter, that's Instagram. That's pretty much anything that we do. It's all involved. It's all available on those social media sites, so make sure to follow us. But most importantly, guys, hit that subscribe button, because each day, we're constantly updating this YouTube channel with movie news, with cast and details, box office reports. Today we did the movie of the week, uh, which is an old classic, so make sure to go check that out. Hit that subscribe button, guys. Thank you so much, and please continue chasing cinema.